I'm Larry Anglisano reporting for Kit Planes Magazine here at the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida. Now, if you're like a lot of pilots, you might fly with an action camera. Now, Vans Aircraft is here with the RV-12 that's got an integrated action camera that kicks the interface up a few notches, ties in with Garmin's new G3X Touch avionics suite. To tell us how it's done, here's Vans' Chris Thalen. So this year we're here with a special RV-12. This particular one I'm standing next to is a uh, brand new SLSA factory built. Uh, but the stuff we're going to cover today is also available to any home builder uh, with any RV series airplane. So one of the new options that we're very excited about at Vans is the uh, available Garmin G3X touchscreen. Uh, you'll see it here in this RV-12 example. Uh, it's also available to any kit builder out there uh, for installation in their aircraft. And Garmin has done a unique thing with the G3X Touch, whereas they've integrated an action camera plug-in, so you can actually see live coverage of any camera mounted to the exterior of the aircraft. So the interface between the Garmin G3X Touch and a uh, action camera, specifically the Garmin Verb action camera, is very straightforward if you're planning on installing a G3X touchscreen in your aircraft. Uh, this particular airplane has a uh, BNC connector um, with a coax cable that's running to the tail of the aircraft and we've, we've exited the aircraft right next to the tail tie-down ring um, and we've created a mount that will uh, screw into the tie-down ring and the Verb camera can be mounted directly to the tail tie-down. It really is a complete package. You have a complete suite from Garmin including autopilot servos and all the control modules for your transponder and ADS-B system is all Garmin uh, or Dynon versus when you choose your appropriate system. Um, the wiring difference, the Garmin uses a CAN bus system which is slightly different from a Dynon wiring uh, perspective. Um, so something to consider when you're planning your panel. So a typical application of using the camera, uh, you would come out to your aircraft, you would screw the camera into the tail tie-down ring, and you would turn the camera on, and then enter the aircraft, and once your avionics are powered on, you can go into the Garmin G3X touchscreen, and you can actually control the settings on the camera and pause and play, uh, record as necessary while you're flying. The experimental amateur built is just like you'd find on the rest of the RV models where you'd have to build 51% of the aircraft. Uh, typical build times of the ELSA uh, without any modification, uh, first time builder you're looking at about 900 hours uh, build time. So the price of the RB12 kit are about uh, 68,000. Uh, we've been seeing guys completing them uh, about 70, 70 to 80,000 well equipped uh, with paint and, and everything included. And the uh, base price of a factory built model is 115,000. You can learn more about the RB12 at vansaircraft.com. Now for more on action cameras, you can read a future issue of Kit Planes magazine. Reporting for Kit Planes, I'm Larry Anglesano. Thanks for watching.